Hello everybody, it's Andy here and today we're gonna make this cute bunny, um, vanny bunny and the pattern is um, on my website andydomeka.com, I'll link it below. So if you want to sew along with me, grab, go ahead and print out the pattern and then come back to this video. But um, I recommend to watch the whole video first before you start cut cutting any fabric. Right, so let's set that aside. What do you need for this project? You need at least a, a half a meter of fabric. And I highly recommend this Robert Kaufman Essex collection, linen collection. It's 50%, I think it's 45, 55% of cotton and linen. It's a blend and it's really nice for making these types of projects. Now, if you don't have this, and you just want to try and make make one just you know this is your first time making a doll or a toy then you know any cotton fabric will do or any linen fabric will do so um yeah and then maybe you like it then you can go ahead and get the essex collection of robert kaufman and um, all right now important things um that are very useful for this project is the pinking shear and this pokey pokey thing pokey tool to poke out corners and curves and um needles so i recommend like a very long needle this is about two and a half inches almost three and a small needle okay and also of course thread for the hand sewing part and your basic sewing machine you know and coordinating threads and here buttons for the eyes uh they're coconut shell buttons and a felt a tiny piece of felt for the nose now, uh, if you're making your bunny, you know, in the future, if you've liked it enough and you want to give it as a gift to a newborn, then I recommend using safety eyes or just embroider the eyes because the buttons are not really recommended for, you know, babies. So, yeah, they're, I think um, they're... They're good for three years old and above. My my baby, or he's not actually a very baby now. He's two and a half and he's okay with buttons now. He knows, he understands that he shouldn't like. But I still don't recommend for like small children to have the button eyes. So, we, you know, you can go ahead and embroider them. So like this bunny has embroidery. Okay, you can make it in any for you know, shape, any anything you like any face because each time the bunny looks different and it has a, a different kind of character to it so this is my favorite one it's just a a straight line on the nose and then just a bit of um embroidery on the eyes okay so they're very good for newborns up to three years old right now you can see here i've already started um tracing my pattern pieces so go ahead and print the pattern now before you print everything all the pattern pieces make sure you print the first the, the the page where it has a test square and you know try and test it if it's very close to because it's five by five centimeters um and if it's very close to five then you're good to go it doesn't have to be exactly five just you know, one millimeter away is fine, right? Um, yeah, just want to show you this tube turner. It's really good. It's, I don't know the brand. It doesn't say, but they come in three sets, but they're called tube turner or a loop turner. Pen, um, some marking pen. I recommend the non-erasable one because you want to see, you know, want to be able to see the traced. 
and also it's handy to have erasable one okay scissors pinking shears i cannot say enough but yeah please um if you can get your hands pinking shears they're very important for these types of project scissors and some fabric because we're gonna make an outfit for this bunny as well and it's included in the pattern some fabric uh fat quarter is enough for the dress and a 20 centimeter long um elastic a quarter of an inch elastic right so here once you've cut out your pattern pieces, um, the body, the back pattern only only needs one piece. So I trace that on just one layer of fabric. Now I say one layer because the rest, all these four pieces, we're going to trace them on a folded fabric. Making sure that once you're tracing, you're tracing it on the back or on the wrong side of your fabric. But if you're using something like plain and you don't really see where the back and the front, like there's no difference, it, there's no obvious difference to it, then just trace it, right? Like this, not quite sure where's the front and back. So, you know what? I've decided this is the wrong side, so <laughs> that's fine. Now, it says here how many things you need. So cut to reverse, so meaning it's already two and it's already reversed, right? Because it's on fold. And here, you need to cut two pairs for the leg, two pairs for the ears, two pairs for the arms. So, once you folded your fabric, trace it, okay, all of it. And then trace two floppy ears and then one leg, one leg. Now, make sure that once you trace your leg this way, the other leg should be facing the other way. So one reverse, okay? And then same is true with the arm. So one like this and one like this. Hope that makes sense. And I've pinned, I've pinned them in place. And just to um, emphasize this, you need to be able to have a space, like a good one inch space on each pattern tracing because that's where we're going to cut. Okay, so we need space for that. Now, the reason why there's no seam allowance included for this pattern is because we're going to sew where we traced it, right? We're going to sew on the marking. So, for example, this, the body front, the only bit we're going to sew here is this side, the, where the nose is, like or the, this side to the right. So, only this side we're going to sew. And every time we go uh, sew each piece, we need to make sure we... Uh, back stitch lock your stitches this is very important okay because we're gonna stuff this really hard well not super hard but we're gonna stuff it and you need to make sure that your stitches doesn't you know just unravel right so once you've done the tracing bit i've pinned it so it stays in place i'm gonna cut it in groups Okay, so let's say this one, making sure there's a space. So I'm going to cut it like this. This will just make my life easier when I'm sewing. Oh, and before I forget, make sure you mark. Uh, where's my arms? Lost it. There. Okay, make sure you mark. the openings okay there's your line make sure you mark it on your fabric as well okay i think this is enough actually now i'm gonna go ahead firstly 
So from here all the way down here. All right. So for this body front, I will only sew this bit. Hope that's clear. For this purposes, I'm going to use black thread so you can visualize it and you can see it clearly. Okay, and for the arms and leg, it says here, sorry, arms and the ears. Okay, it says here opening. Yeah, so do not stitch the opening bit and also the other one. So there's two openings. So I'm going to go and stitch from this up to here, making sure to back stitch. And then from here, back stitch, lock your stitches, and then all the way to the top. Right? And then for the ears, I need to lock the stitches on openings, on the opening. So lock stitch here all the way around and then here. Now, make sure you're as close as, you know, as close or accurate as your marking. So your stitches should be on the mark. Okay? That's going to be your guide. And then that determines the shape or the outcome of your bunny. Now, if you've gone far from your, you know, your traced, um, your marking, then, you know, the shape will be distorted. It will be wonky or, you know what I mean. Anyway. So, and the arms, same is true. Just make sure you lock your stitches on each opening. Right. I'm going to go ahead and sew. And then I'll come back and show you guys. Okay, I've now sewn it. And I made sure to lock my stitches from beginning to the end. And especially the openings. Lock stitches. Okay. Now grab your pinking shear. If you don't have it, that's fine. I'll show you how to do it with just regular scissors. Now I'm going to cut... my ear piece okay put my ear piece here i'm gonna give it a a good you know quarter of an inch allowance this is what you do when you're using regular scissors Okay, now you're gonna go and snip all the way around. So you'll have nice and flat curves. You don't have it all the way around. This is fine, but here you want it snip like that, very close to the thread, making sure you don't snip the thread accidentally, right? Once you've done that, do it on all the pattern pieces, except now this one. This you cut on the line. And then now give it one or a quarter of an inch allowance all the way. And see, of course you did not stitch the other side, right? That's still open. So the marking is your guide where you need to cut. So that's, so give an allowance of a quarter of an inch. It's still the same all the way. There you go. Now you have your front body like that now go ahead and snip especially the neck part okay to the 
face part. There you go. go. Now, it's very important that you don't actually use a different color of thread because it will see through like the black. You will see it. Um, this is just for demonstration. Just want to see you um, where to actually stitch. So do that on all your pattern pieces. And if you have this pink in shears, which is amazing, I'm going to go ahead and cut very close to the thread, but not actually uh, snipping the thread here. Especially the curves. You don't want to go like super close because um, your stitches might open. Okay, and then cut on that line. All right, there's your leg piece. Now, this tube turner is super helpful. For turning this, you just put the tube in like that and then I use the non because there's the sharp one and the just a flat one I use the flat one to push then ta-da and then I use still the flat one to like get in all my curves and then wiggle wiggle then I've got my leg piece now i'm gonna go and fold this bit the opening that's where the stuffing is gonna go okay so fold that aligning on the rest of the um piece and then iron it really flat that will help you later on when we're stitching it closed so just do that now then that's a big help Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these pieces and then come back. All right, so I have turned them inside out, cut them, and the only thing I need to do is to iron them flat. Okay, now we move on to this one piece body back. Now I've already marked, traced the pattern. Now I'm just going to cut... A quarter of an inch allowance just like the rest of them now you notice that I don't really add an allowance at the bottom where the opening is I like for the legs I didn't I just cut it on the line that makes sense um, yeah I guess it doesn't really um, matter on that side like this one i'll just cut straight through on the line i don't really need that space but you can once you've added a seam allowance on the bottom make sure that you also add on the others and especially the body but if you cut it on the line then also your back cut it on the line right hope that's clear and if you're still with me thank you very much and let's start actually sewing this body piece together. So now this is your right side. Face it down like that and then match it. Now the first thing we need to match is our neck part. Okay. That and then I'll go and do it on the other side. There you go. And now I'm going to do it on the top. Now make sure the top is the, a tricky bit. You could end up with folded here, which you don't really want that. So you want to make sure that your 
um, like flattening your seam and then matching it on this side and you only sew on that on the flattened fold uh seam okay because if you get here then look that's actually folded now so make sure you flatten it open it up and then pin then pin all around Oops, sorry, made the mistake, which happens a lot. <laughs> I need the marking on the other side because that's going to be my guide where I'll be sewing it. Okay, so I this is my front. It's my right side, now right side together. Okay, don't make that mistake because then you'll end up with no marking on this side and you know, you'll just be eyeballing and that's not good. So you need that marking um, for your sewing guide. Okay, let's do it again. All right. Now make sure you leave an opening on the side so also make sure to lock your stitches and this you need to leave it open as well the bottom okay i'm gonna go and sew the the markings all the way around here okay that's sewn left it open and another one open back stitch and I want to just make sure I snip the neck part. Okay. Probably need to snip around the head. Especially that bit where the seam is. Okay, now let's turn it inside out and let's check the top of the head. Yeah, that's fine. It's not folded, so we're good. Okay, turn it inside out and we're going to go and iron all of them, especially the opening bits. Okay, iron all of them and also we're going to fold this, open the seam, this is the bottom of the body, fold it quarter of an inch all the way and then iron it really flat, finger press it for now and then once you bring it to the ironing board, you press it really flat. Like that. There you go. It's a bit tricky. Let me get there. Okay, I'm gonna iron this. All right, so now we have one body piece, two ears, two legs, two arms. Make sure. We've ironed it flat, okay? To, if you want for this to stay in place, you can go ahead and sew, right? So a quarter of an inch all the way around, just to make it, you know, stay in place. But you don't absolutely need to do that. It would help though, it would be, it's good, okay? Now, um, 
we're gonna get our stuffing now a tip on stuffing i just buy these uh cushion fillers and you know just use the stuffing inside i find that cheaper than buying kilos and kilos of stuffing okay now grab your body piece and we're gonna stuff the head first right gonna stuff the head first gently okay more you don't want it too um little you need it firm Okay, now you push out on the side, but use your finger to like make sure the stuffing goes to the side bits as well. Okay, now we're, it's looking good, looking good. You see what I mean when you use a different color of th thread? Yeah, make sure you use coordinating color this project because the seams will I mean the, the threads will come and you know show themselves okay I'm still going okay I think Bit on that side all right that looks good to me okay that looks good you know when you press it you can see it's still firm right not too hard still nice and soft but it's not super soft okay now we just leave it like that now grab your um, leg pieces and we're gonna stick it inside just like so just like that but before we do that i actually just make sure to fold this in half like perfectly half and then pin that middle seam, pin it from there. So then you've got perfect middle, okay? Like centered. Now I'm gonna go and put this on one. Now this is a step where you can actually customize your stuff. Uh, it's, it's up to you. Do you want it to look there like at the end? Or do you want it close together? Or do you want it just like this, where it's just right amount of this and here? I like it this way, but you know, you do you. The pattern is just barely a guide and you can just explore your creativity with it, okay? Patterns shouldn't be like followed just exactly like, like, um, what the pattern says you know uh sometimes you can just explore your creativity well with projects like this at least with clothes and that that's different you need to be accurate with clothes <laughs> um so i'm gonna pin i like that i like that um amount of space on that side here pin here Make sure you're catching the other side. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm gonna go and sew really close to the edge, all the way down. Now I'm still using black thread just for demonstration purposes. So you can see, if you can see here, I didn't start from the very edge that's very bulk and you know not totally necessary but it might <laughs> break my needle and also the other side 
So I just stopped right after where the side of the legs are. Right, and once you've done that, make sure, again, before you stitch your legs together, they're facing this way. There, you see those pointing inwards. Okay, now you have that whole opening for stuffing. So go ahead and continue stuffing. Let's do that. Now again, not too soft. Just make it firm. Okay, I'm almost done with this body. Now, I want to make sure there's equal amount here and here. Right, now we're gonna close this. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna use black thread just for demonstration purposes. We're gonna use ladder stitch for this, for all the openings, except for the ear, or although you can definitely do it with the opening, but you can just sew that very close to the edge. So that opening it's like this right now but for the body legs and arms then this is going to be how we stitch it close so grab your thread make sure it's long enough and then start from you know the back and then go to that the um the end of your stitches and then pull it and then make a knot there you go and now your stitch is locked now go inside and just on that fold see where we um ironed it that's gonna be our guide so we go on that fold and then go to the other side opposite like that you can see and then opposite again but making sure it's the the same line like the same like parallel to each other we're gonna do that all the way to the end Now we just pull it. Lock it. Then push it out.
Now, if this is coordinating uh, thread, you won't really see it. So that's a leather stitch. Okay, now we're gonna stuff the whole thing, I mean, the legs, and sew leather stitches. Okay, you may notice I've changed the body because this is what I've already done before. And look, it's all coming together. Right, now we place the arms. So make sure they're pointing inwards and this is where you just kind of just put it, eyeball it like that, that looks fine. And then just pin that in place. Just pin it on that side. And then pin on the other. Okay, that, that looks good. Now we're gonna stitch here. Now I'm just gonna use um, thread that's coordinating. Got my thread. And here, just a quarter of an inch below it, See this? I'm just going to mark it. There. I'm going to stitch from here. I'm going to go in. Out to the arm. And then just go back and just... And then now I'm going to go maybe four times on this, making sure you catch um, that as well. So making sure you're catching the body, the side of the body. Okay. And that's enough for me. I'm gonna go in, get that pin out. I go in into the body okay near your stitches there and I'm gonna lock it I'm gonna lock it right here And then let's go out just like that. So that's how you uh, stitch the arm. And then you just stuff it from the opening and then lather stitch. Just like, huh. Oops, sorry. There you go. Now do that on both arms. And you should have something like this. Now, again, stuff it firmly. And then going soft on this, on the top. So hard, a bit hard. Not hard. Just firm. And then go soft on this side, not too much stuff here. Now we're going to sew our ears, just like this. You can find the measurement on the, um, just going to do that later. You can find the measurement on, on the pattern. Let's have a look now. On the ear part. Okay, so we've got here six centimeters. So we measure from the top of our head. Like you see that T from 
from that seam six centimeter. I'm gonna put a pin six centimeter. Okay, and then across you want 2.5 centimeter. So you want 2.5 here. One five there, and then 2.5 here. Straight. So that's where, oops, that didn't really, it's not really that straight. I think that's fine. Doesn't look. Yeah. Now I've got my eyes. But if you're not happy with that, you know, you can you can go anywhere on this. You can make your own face, that's fine. Now there's a piece for the nose. I traced it on my felt. There's the piece. And then I'm just going to go and cut it on the marking. And there, I'll just kind of put it right there. But I want to put my nose later on once the eyes are, you know, eyes are installed. Okay. So I'm going to mark those with erasable pen this time. Now, if you don't want the buttons, button eyes, then just embroider around there. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my long needle. My long needle. And I'm using thick thread, but you don't have to. Uh, you can totally use the normal thread. I'm just gonna need to refill that one. I use these. I don't know what they're called. They're just, I think I searched embroidery threads and this came. The DMC threads are also perfect for embroidering on, you know, your bunnies, your dolls. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't have DMC threads at the moment. So I'm just going to use this and they're perfect. They're very cheap as well. So I'm going to use this one. Cut it long, long enough. They came in a pack of different colors. Right. Okay, don't need to double it. Just need that. Right, now I'm going to just lock my stitch. I'm going to start from here. Zoom it out. Start from here. Go to that dot. And then I'm just going to lock my stitch. Now I'll grab my button okay, on one hole and then now go back and then go to the other side. There you go. And then insert. Now this is why you need a long needle. on one hole that. now go back to that button and just kind of find that and then now you can pull you can start pulling and you can see it's making like a dent which is what I like. Just a tiny bit, not too much though. Don't pull it too much. I think that's fine. Okay. 
You could also experiment with like if the eyes are further apart or if it's higher or lower. Do you would you know you can just test it. Put your eyes there. Do I like it that way? Without sewing it. Right, here you go. Now we lock our stitch. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna lock my stitch. Maybe on the other side is better. Okay, right underneath that button. And then I'm just gonna make a knot like that. And then go back and just push out. There you go. There you go. And for the nose, just gonna put it right there. I think that's fine. Put a pin in it. And I'm gonna start sewing. This, you just need to sew on the outer. So, again, I'm gonna lock my stitch. Sorry. like that all the way around okay that's done now we just have the ears now make sure you stitch your ears closed I haven't so I can do that later but now we're gonna measure here to get my measuring tool and measure two and a half right there then two and a half right there okay so that's where my ear goes so I like to put the opening on this side, on the back side. So I'm just gonna put it back. There, that's where my ears are gonna go. And then how do we stitch that? So we're just gonna stitch it in place like, like this bit to this bit. Oops, sorry. There. So we're just gonna follow that line and stitch it on the on the body, top of the head. What do you guys think of this pattern so far? If you've made it this far, congratulations. I hope I'm not too confusing. <laughs> if you have any questions, just leave it down below. Okay. I'll try my best to answer all of your questions. Although you could email me on contact at undythemaker.com. Or you can go on my Instagram, Andy the Maker, and you know, we could talk there. Okay. That's really it. I'm just gonna lock it. That's it. There you go.
Now you've got your bunny. Okay, if you have any questions, guys, please let me know. Um, before we end this, we're going to quickly make our dress. Grab your pattern pieces. And on the pattern, it will say you're going to need two sleeves and two body. Okay. Sleeves, two body, and a 20 centimeter long elastic. Right. Now grab a piece of the sleeve and then right sides together, match it, pin in place, now stitch all the way down. And then we're going to go grab the other sleeve, right side together on the other piece, other side. Stitch it in place. And pin it in place. And then quarter of an inch all the way down. Let's do that. Now... If your fabric frays a lot, I suggest you um, zigzag or serge uh, that side. Okay. Now grab your main other main piece, and then right sides together like this. Match the sleeves. Pin it. And then on that other sleeve, just like so. Make sure they're all right sides together. All right, so I have now stitched all of them together. Okay, it should look like this. Now, you can go ahead and serge or... Um, like zigzag your sleeve, the seams, so they don't fray. After that, you're gonna want to press or fold a quarter of an inch all the way around here. Press it with your iron and then fold another one all the way around it's gonna be it's a bit tricky because you have this curve but just try and work with it it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned but just make sure you get a space for your um, elastic so do that all the way um even if it puckers maybe in the middle uh, you probably will experience this like it might like do that that's fine don't worry too much about that because then you'll put your your elastic and it all will like just gather up together okay i'm gonna go ahead and do that iron it flat and then sew all around leaving an inch of an opening so you can put this through okay now I've done that you see what I mean it's only natural for it to do that because you know the the top is smaller and it, it's like it gets wider at the bottom so that's that's only natural now get your safety pin elastic it through now find that hole and just thread it through I like to pin
And now, I'm going to put the elastic on top of each other. Just like so. Overlapping. And I'm going to sew... Just lock. Lock them together. Okay. Now once we've done that, That's not going anywhere. Now leave it. Leave it that it's still gathered on one side. So you have this flat, like straight. And then just sew it together. Like close that opening. Hey, now it's looking like a dress. Now there's my right side. Still on right sides together, pin and match these. So first match the seam on the on the arm, on the sleeve. Okay, match that and then pin all the way. And then same this side then I'm gonna sew all the way okay here we go ahead and pin that I don't need this pinning because it's only very short and we're gonna pin all the way uh sorry sew all the way now that's done double fold your sleeve it's a very tiny, tiny sleeve here. Double fold it. Iron it flat to stay in place. Or pin, whichever one works for you. For me, finger pressing is enough. Okay, do the same thing. You're still on the wrong side of your fabric, okay? So... And do this fold, double fold. Okay, finger press and then stitch all the way around. Okay, there you go. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. So we're gonna fold it once. Iron it flat quarter of an inch fold, iron it flat, and then fold another on top of that, all, all the way around, and then stitch, quarter of an inch seam allowance. Okay, we did it. So there's a dress, our bunny, and now we dress our bunny. By the way, I'm still making more patterns for the clothes so you can you know you can really have a proper wardrobe for your little bunny and how cute is she um let me show you what i've i'm currently working on here you go I'm designing a little romper as well for little bunny, our bunny bunny, and it's Velcro. So kids can put it on. Yeah, isn't that cute? So yeah, thank you very much for staying with me through the whole video. If you stayed, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below, what do you think of this ban uh, bunny? Um, are you going to make it? And uh, tag me on social media if you can. I would really appreciate it. And, you know, 
please share this video to friends who you think might like it and might want to make um this vani bunny thank you very much once again um i'm gonna see you next time and have a great day be nice to everyone bye bye